All right, I think I'm rolling. Okay, perfect. Can you make sure you have a smile on your face too? Just <laughs> helps, really helps me out throughout the whole process. <laughs> Act like you want a beer, Jared. <laughs> I am here. Jared, it's honorable to lose to the Lions. It's not that big of a deal. Yeah, not real. It is a big deal. It, no, it's, it's Jared Goff. He's a Pro Bowl listen, quarterback. Goff is off. Jared, we're well, presented by DraftKings, by the way. We Jared, are. <laughs> it's a rare thing. Only one team has done it. You're in, you're in very special team. Like, you might go down in the history books. Maybe yeah, the only team lose them this year. Zimmer might have to turn in his headset to Canton <laughs> so they can display it at the Hall of Fame <laughs> for the last game he ever coached. You know what they should do. Uh, remember when you guys retinol messed up? Yeah, you have to wear that thing over his eye. Put his eye patch in Canton. Yeah, put his eye patch in Canton. That'd be sick. <laughs> That's messed up, Jared. Sorry. Um. Anyways, Jared's not doing well, but I'm doing great. Welcome to the Goose Egg Gambling Show presented by DraftKings. We got a bit of a Monday mini episode going. I think we're going to call it Scrambled Eggs. Ooh, I like that. I'll decide in the edit. We are joined as a not as always, but we are joined by friend of the podcast, Sir Yacht. Fresh hey. off, of, fresh off a of Nor- a New Orleans extravaganza. How was it? So. Well, you should. We you, you were <laughs> there, there too. I yeah, was. it was. Uh, I tell you what, we we thought we uh, New Orleans wasn't going to be ready for us. Uh, we were not ready for New Orleans. But it, it, it turns out the city was in fact ready for just two regular guys to come through with a video just camera. Two regular Midwest guys that don't party that hard. I tell you what, <laughs> never been asked to do cocaine or offered or, or asked if we I had cocaine more than in New Orleans. It did, a lot of people were, yeah, it was a very just interesting place overall. Yep. Great, great time. I'd love to go back. Oh, it was so fun. It was so fun. So I'm glad he has a great time. That was awesome. Yeah. Thanks, Jared. We, you didn't you want to go. Yeah, you we, you were off. You were asked to go, and you said, uh, I got a "Girlfriend, <laughs> it's so hard to do it." That's yeah. a spot on Jared impression. That is good. <laughs> just complaining voice, just mocking. <laughs> but it honestly just kicked off a great weekend for me because after that weekend, came back and just instantly went undefeated in gambling. Instantly, so, instantly three and zero. Oh, mm. Nothing better than that. Back on the hot streak. Back on my high horse. I'm not. I'm also, Jared is just down tremendously right now. Yeah, the camera's not on him, but he's got his he's got his just hand in his face right now. He's leaning over the mic. He's not the usual Thursday cheer cheerful that this podcast is used to. That game was awful yesterday. I can't <laughs> stop thinking about that. I pretty much quit watching football after that. I'm sure. Yeah, we have to get ready because we're going to the Vikings Steelers game Thursday night, baby. Yeah, we can see Zimmer again. Are you, you are you nervous for that game? No, I don't care. Have, have you officially lost? And the Vi- here's the thing: the Vikings will probably win that game. They're favored right now. They're favored by three points. <laughs> <Yeah>. That's <laughs> that's absurd. It, yeah, well, like the Steelers play down everybody's level. Mm-hmm. Zimmer always back against the wall again. <laughs> he always pulls off these like Thursday night wins when you don't least expect it. But I think they'll win. Sounds like the season's not over. It is over though. It's not. No, but it's it is. not. They're still in. They're still in the hunt. It is, but it isn't over. Yo, like, you just don't want them to make the playoffs. Like this last, it feels like the last seven years have been wasted, honestly, on Zimmer and this fucking team. All because they lost to the Lions? I mean, we've been in 10 of the 11 games we've been in, we're like eight points out of last, and we just keep fucking losing. Yeah. <laughs> but sometimes you win. They pulled off a few, they beat the Packers. But at like, what point do you like point the finger at Mike Zimmer? Like, I, I agree with you. Because if, if you're in all those games with eight points and you're That's record, Zimmer's fault. I agree. I 100% agree. Yeah, like it's completely his. I mean, I don't know. We had a lot of injuries too yesterday. It's not, oh, the Vikings are just unlucky. Like they're just cursed or whatever. No, it's a fucking, it's coaching. Yeah, and we've been doing this for the last seven years. Yeah. And we have not improved at all. To be fair, it's hard to go into a place like Detroit and get a win. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. At the Little Caesars, whatever dome. That, or no. What it's is a it? super, isn't it just the Ford? Oh, yeah. It's the Ford Field. Little Caesars is Pistons. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you don't want to cut a Little Ford. Caesars. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, it's okay. We're going we're gonna to turn things around come Thursday. But that's a topic for a different day. We'll talk about that later this week because the reason we wanted to hop on here tonight is because tonight's Monday night game is a big one. We've got the New England Patriots, the new darling of the league, everyone's new favorite squad, going up against the Buffalo Bills. It's a three-point spread. Buffalo is favored. The over-under is 41. I think a lot of people are predicting this is going to be a very defensive game. <laughs> Plus the wind. And yeah, it's going to be on Buffalo in Lake, on Lake Erie. Mm-hmm. Uh, Great it, lake. It's going to be cold. <laughs> um, definitely a game I would bet on the under. Yes. 41 even, you think? Wind's a big factor with over and under. 25 mile per hour wind is what's expected. Yeah, and two bi- two really good defenses like you just said. So. Yep. Um, I have some fun facts. Ooh. All right. Uh, 
The Patriots and Bills are two teams that play in the NFL. Okay. Not only that, they both have coaches, quarterbacks, stadiums, and they both are going to make the tackles and pass the ball so they could probably win. This is the second time they are playing this season, the first time since the first time they played this year. Mm. Okay. No shit. All right, but actually, 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 <laughs> actually. Um, New England hasn't allowed a point in the second half in four straight games, which is a team record. The longest streak in a single season is eight straight games by the 1934 Detroit Lions. Don't or it might have been Portsmouth. It might have been Portsmouth at that point. <laughs> it might have been. It might have been a different team. It doesn't matter. Fun fact: the team that <laughs> got that they held was the Minnesota Vikings. Oh, God. Who was the coach? Mike, Mike Zimmer. <laughs> Mike's fucking well, man. Okay, one more thing about that game. Okay, go for it. <laughs> Jerry's like, I want to talk about it, but I want to talk about it. So, right. so box is yours. So that last drive when the Lions are driving. It's prevent defense the entire time. It was smart, statistically speaking. <laughs> no, it wasn't. They got a touchdown with four seconds left. Also, also, I was listening. I forgot I was listening to. It was like a skit on TikTok. They tried for two point conversions three times and, and they failed on all of them. Yeah. If they would have hit one of them, it probably it would have gone to overtime, right? It would have been a six point lead at least. Dude, Rough. that's that's <laughs> like in hindsight, like I mean, in those in each of those moments, you want to go for two and you get it, obviously, but then you look back, you're like, Oh my god, if we would just kick the field goal. And we were in the red zone. We we went to the red zone three times, we had three field goals out of three red zone trips. That's god awful. Goffle. Go, Blow it I up. I knew you were gonna do that. Yeah. <laughs> Blow it up, you start it all over. Yeah. Get Jefferson out of there, get Thielen out of there, get Cook out of there. I'm already no, I'm already accepting the fact Jefferson's gonna be gone. He's gonna pull a digs. <laughs> You probably at least have another year or two before that happens, though. So, yeah, he's going to leave anyway. That's okay. And by the time that rebuilds, all right, whatever. Is it better to have loved and lost or to never loved at all? I don't ask the Browns fan. <laughs> you lost to the Lions. I, that's all I have to say. Yeah, today. he's playing with. He got you a bye week. He, he, he gets his week off. <laughs> We're good. Yeah, we didn't lose this week, so I don't know. <laughs> hey, football fans, who's ready to score some free bets? I am. I got two. We, hand, I got two hands up right here. Well, now you can when you bet on any NFL game this weekend with DraftKings Sportsbook, which is an official sports betting partner of the NFL and the Goose Egg Gambling Podcast. New customers who bet just $1 on either team to score, just $1, $1. either team to score, $1. you can win $100 in free bets. A team scores, you score. It's that easy. If a sportsbook isn't available in your state yet, DraftKings will not leave you empty-handed because everyone can play for huge cash prizes all season long with DraftKings Daily Fantasy Sports Contests. You, all new customers get a free shot at millions of dollars in total prizes with their first deposit. Sounds too good to be true? It isn't. All you got to do, download the DraftKings Sportsbook app now, use promo code UBETCHA, bet $1 on either team to score, and win $100, $100 in free bets. They score, you score with promo code UBETCHA. That is Y-O-U-B-E-T-C-H-A. This week at DraftKings Sportsbook, an official sports betting partner of the NFL. Must be 21 years or older. New Jersey, Indiana, or Pennsylvania only. New customers only. Minimum $5 deposit and $1 wager required. One per customer. Restrictions apply. See DraftKings.com slash Sportsbook for details. Gambling problem? Call 1-800-GAMBLER. Um, so yeah, in terms of the game tonight, the big thing I think people are not taking into account is that the Bills are missing Tredavious White. He tore his ACL last week. And that is huge. He's like probably who is going to not the Patriots have like any stud wide receivers, but yeah, Tredavious is a top four cornerback in the league. Yeah, so. definitely. Yeah, I think the more I think about this game, I think it's just going to be a lot of teams having to play to their weakness. I think the Patriots are going to be forced to throw the ball a lot. Bills are going to be forced to run the ball a lot, both yes. of which they're not like stellar at. The Patriots are pretty decent at it, but I can't. Mac Jones doesn't throw a strong enough ball. that I can't imagine he's going to be much of a factor with Plus, the wind. I guess again, the wind. Yeah, exactly. Like his all kind of sails a little bit as it is. I think I think the first quarter is going to be a. It's one of those really really quick first quarters that's like a lot of running. Like right. especially the Patriots get the ball first. I yep. think it's like a quarter that could be done in like twenty minutes. It's going to be like one commercial break. Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah. Whoever the guest on the Manning cast is is going to get screwed. Or yeah, even get on, get on. <laughs> I want to see. Uh, keep talking. I want to see. Yeah, who, who is on tonight? Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna look. I didn't know the Bills still had the number one ranked defense in the league. Really? I, thought, I thought it was the Patriots. The Patriots are number two right now. So it's number one versus number two defenses. And then the wind. Yeah, I'm not going to enjoy I'm excited for this game, but I know I'm not going to enjoy it. Ugh. It's the exact op- type of football I like. Plus, the Bills haven't played since Thanksgiving. And that's a big rest factor, all that. I really wanted to go with the Patriots game. Like, 
But I think I'm realizing a lot in myself is I bet more on teams I want to win or outcomes I want to happen rather than what I think probably would happen or what's smart. So I'm trying to change that this week. I'm actually going to go with Bills minus three. I was going to go Patriots plus three till I did all this research. I also looked into the Patriots winning streak. The teams they've beaten on this streak soft. are the Jets, Chargers, Panthers, Browns, Falcons, and Titans. Very soft schedule recently. Yeah, and they have a plus 13 t- turnover differential in that win streak. So, mm-hmm. I, I, know, I mean, their defense is good, but some of that has to come from the fact that they're playing these bad teams. Right. Um, how that? What was the outcome last time they played against each other? Or is this the first? The last time they played against each other. Um, Bills won. They won two straight, I believe. Yep, and the time they played last year, the Bills blew them out on Monday Night Football. Okay. So there is maybe that revenge factor that Patriots have. Mm-hmm. But I just think right now the Patriots' stock is at an all-time high, and now is the time to... I've tried to sell sell them while they were high of the last few weeks, but I'm starting to... I think this is a week. That's good. I think they still make the playoffs. I think they're still a good team. They're probably a top two or three seed. Right. But I think the Bills are the better team. I think they'll just get it f- figured out, mm-hmm. get it done. If it was better weather, maybe the Patriots have a better chance. Right. But Matt, you, I don't know. It's be hard to depend on Mac Jones. They, I mean, it's, it's going to be a real test for him. If he come out and they win this game, there's going to be a lot of serious talks about yeah. if he's the GOAT. <laughs> yeah. Coward's podcast is going to be Colin epic. Coward is going to be. Oh, trick. Yeah. Skip Bayless will be going berserk if they win. Oh, yeah. Uh, did you see that Colin Coward said he's not going to talk about Baker Mayfield anymore? Yeah, because I uh, he like put up a poll for it. But like, I mean, he's he's still gonna talk about it. Oh, There's yeah. no There's way no he does chance. it. There's it's like no the chance. it's like the cra- like the heroin addict that like right. Yeah. He always comes back. I'm not gonna do he's it. He's cl- he's like five days clean right now just because they're on a buy. But <laughs> the second he's gonna he's gonna shift gears so hard. He's like, <laughs> I, let me I, shift gears to this. He's like, I have so many things to talk about. I don't need to talk about Baker. As he makes like a two minute rant video about <laughs> not <laughs> talking about Baker. I'm it not gonna talk about. Tags him, him in the like in yeah the yeah in the video. <laughs> Like Baker would respond, right? He used to back in the day. I think he's learned. I think they both. Yeah, it's it's just it's you're feeding the beast. Yeah, exactly. That's what all these guys do. They'll talk shit about an athlete, then like the athlete will clap back, like, "Oh, come on, my show anytime." Like that doesn't just completely help the radio, right? Like, oh, having an athlete on your show to like talk shit, or like when Skip Bayless would talk shit, they would always like post his like stat line. And like I do love JV that. basketball <laughs> or whatever. Average point nine points. <laughs> yeah. Jalen Rose called him out on live TV. They'd have like a huge meeting the next day at ESPN about Speaking it. Speaking of, did we tell you Jalen Rose thing? Did we, did we tell you the Jalen Jalen Rose think thing? So. This no. is Jalen Rose is the first ever Jalen ever to per, be to be named Jalen. Jalen, really? Yeah. Swear God. His, his parents like made up the name. Yeah. No, no. Well, and like the Fab Five at Michigan was so like influential in culture that like. That's why there's so many people like Jalen Hurts, Jalen Rieger, Jalen Suggs. Like there's yeah. so many people named Jalen now and they're all like in their like early 20s or no, like. No wonder Molly married him. <laughs> Molly for first take. Oh, yeah. yeah. Because she's marrying the first ever Jalen. That's pretty yeah, cool. I would too. Actually, I wouldn't. But. <laughs> yeah, I'm thinking about it now, actually. Yeah. <laughs> um, all I know uh, for the Manning cast, that I think David Letterman's on tonight. That'd be cool. I oh. can't confirm anybody else. I, I, have, I have no idea. They might not have dropped it yet. So David Letterman's next Netflix special is going to bomb, probably. <laughs> the Manning curse continues. <laughs> was Medina Spirit on last week? <laughs> oh, <too laughs> Sorry. No, it's fine. Rest, we got, we have fodder out here. Yeah, rest in peace to Medina Spirit. Gone, but not forgotten. Um, So, yeah, I'm going Bills minus three. I'm not touching the over under i think whenever people think it's gonna be a really defensive game it ends up being pretty offensive and vice versa i kind of just feel like that's a trend i don't know why so i almost want to go the over but i'm just gonna stick with bills minus three i would like to see the patriots win i think that'd be fun but i'm gonna go with my head inside of my heart for once and see how that works yeah i've been doing dog shit betting lately iowa got murdered by michigan they did i thought that was a lock that would be plus 10 I, I bet money line on Iowa and then Michigan scored a touchdown and then I doubled down and bet <laughs> Iowa money line again. Oh, God. <laughs> and then Iowa just never scored again. So no. with that said, I'm on a complete cold streak, so I'm just going to ride your coattails there, Matt. There we go. Bills minus three and a half. But I am three. Taking, oh, yeah, Unless three. you're going to buy a point. No, no, no. Uh, minus three and then I'll take the under. I'll actually go opposite of you there. So do you 41? Yes. Yeah. Do you do you remember when I was I was like talking about like ever since we were sponsored by DraftKings on our on our podcast that you know I was riding this like you know wind wave and you know and you know it's how I have I've been pretty sound about my betting. <laughs> I think I've lost like eight straight bets or something like <laughs> that since go. Thanksgiving. There like it it's been unbelievable. So I might have to ride the coattails thing as well. I just I don't know. <laughs> Every time like I bet against the Patriots, they just 
they win. Right. Yeah, I know the schedule has been light, but they've just definitively won in their defense. And we are, yeah, you and I saw it. They were lights out. They right. are winning by a lot. They like, their point differential during this streak is. What insane. was that stat I, mean, I read? They haven't they haven't let up a point in the second half of four straight games. Yeah, and like with the weather being a huge factor in the wind. I don't. I don't know. I. I'm. I think I'm going to put Patriots money line today. I, I will say. I will say the under. I seriously think it's going to be like a, like a 17-14 game or something like that. I think. I think well, maybe even that is dangerously close like, to forty-one. Yeah. It'll be a weird. It'll be a weird field goal game. Yeah, maybe. there's be a couple extra a lot of field goals. Missed. Might be a good game to bet on a safety happening too. Ooh. You see that? Ooh, I, I was like at the that. Browns game, Browns Bills game a long time ago. It was like infamous because there were so many missed field goals. I think the final score was like nine to six Browns. They wanted a game winning. They had like shovel the snow first and then like kick it. Mm. Um, I don't I don't know if, how much snow there's going to be, but I will say that like with the defense being this big and the weather being a huge factor, it's going to be some like I think it's going to be a scoregami game actually. Oh, I like Ooh. yeah, especially get, with the safety. Let's get like a five. To seven or something oh, like, like that. Yeah. So we got to get a five in there. Yeah. We're at the Falcons game. We interviewed somebody. We're like, what's the score going to be tonight? He's like, six to five. <laughs> it's like, sir, that's the Atlanta Braves score. <laughs> yeah. Right. Could not have been more off either. <laughs> oh, my God. Uh, that's great. All right. So we all got a few different opinions. I'm excited. I'm really excited to watch it. We got this. Then next Monday night is Cardinals Rams. Really excited for that. Oh, that'll be too. a great game. What yeah. a treat for us. Great treat for us. The Vikings will be coming off a big win in Pittsburgh and Jared will be completely back on the bandwagon. <laughs> Zimmer's the man, you know. We gotta Can't keep flip him. The Zim Zam. Just give him like seven more years. I think we'll we'll get a Super Bowl. In he's got to get his feel for his guys. You know, he's got to yeah. he's got to recruit his yeah. guys. Takes a few years. Takes a good decade to build your culture in right. the NFL locker room. <laughs> Can't wait to win two playoff games instead of one each year. Oh my god, Jerry, you're so pessimistic. That'd be nice. A two that, yeah. How can you keep late about winning two playoff? Oh my games? god, it's been seven years. He's only won one playoff it's game been like eighty four years. years. That's good. There's there's some franchises who would love to win a playoff game. <laughs> but it's purgatory, dude. Purple purgatory. It is purgatory. It is. It's um, miserable. I do want to have, I have like kind of speaking of the AFC East a little bit, I do have like a fact since we had talked about that. We talked about the Jalen Rose fact. The Philadelphia Eagles have never lost to the New York Jets. Yeah. Let's go. They've never. They've also <laughs> never lost to the Texans. But the Jets one is super impressive because right. the Texans have you know just been around for a little bit. So that ran, I don't know what the score was, but I, I know the Eagles won yesterday. I think it was like thirty three to twenty or something. Okay. Like that. Yeah. yeah, yeah, that sounds right. It so, continues. It does. Do you talk about purgatory? Actually, it's just hell for the Jets. That, <laughs> yeah. That's just straight up. Well, at least hell. they have a fucking Super Bowl. Can't wait to take that bet in the next four <sighs> years when they play again. Damn, I wish I would have known that yesterday. Place it now. I know. <laughs> I, I was supposed to put money on it. Anyways. Shoot. Just, All right. Let's do the money line. Well, yeah, we will be back later this week. Enjoy the game tonight. Thanks for joining us for this episode. And everyone send your thoughts and prayers Jared's way. Thank you. I appreciate that. <laughs> there you go. I'm going to go take a nap now. Okay. <laughs> <laughs>